Dumpster diving at Whole Foods is nothing like I've ever seen before. Every time I come to this particular store, I find cases of organic food that is thrown out well before its best by date. Last night, I found enough meat to feed an entire community. I found everything from organic chicken and beef to beyond meat. It was 33 degrees Fahrenheit outside, so everything here was still super cold and had been recently tossed. Everything had been thrown out on or before its best by date, and as we know, best by dates are not hard rules and everything was still good to consume. In addition to the meat, I found all this produce and yogurt. I found everything from homemade guac to salad mixes to cut up fruits and veggies. Honestly, it just kept going. I've never seen any discount stickers on any of the items that Whole Foods has thrown out. And I left so much more behind. So I decided to go dumpster diving again at that same Whole Foods a couple weeks ago. And here's the footage from that trip. I found another bag completely full of non-expired non. <laughs> Get it? Non-expired non. Anyways, none of these had expired. I went a couple days before their expiration date, and these were all perfectly fine to eat. I also found a sealed box of 2% organic milk that was still super cold and still good to eat, and it didn't expire until December 31st, 2021. I also found two sleeves of these breakfast bars, and they're absolutely delicious and still good. I also found a box of this organic kids like squeeze yogurts, and those are also really good and also not expired. I also found a bunch of large brown organic eggs, and usually whenever grocery stores throw out eggs, it's because one of the eggs in the cartons, or at least one, is broken. And that was the case here. Each of these cartons had at least one broken egg in it, but the rest of them were fine. And rather than rearranging them, they just threw out the entire carton. I also found a box of these almond milk puddings. However, it was clear to me they were not good when I got home. So I just threw them away, unfortunately. I was out dumpster diving a couple days ago and I found boxes and boxes of brand new hand sanitizer and cleaning products that don't expire until 2023. The boxes that came in were labeled for store use only. So I think what happened is the store overordered personal hand sanitizer and cleaning supplies in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. But rather than donating or offering these for sale or to other people, they just threw them away. So I saved what I could and offered them for free to vendors and customers at the local flea market. Needless to say, people were very grateful to receive them. Oh my goodness, yes. And keep in mind that one package of this bamboo tissue paper is $17.49. And I found six of them in a case, brand new sealed. Additionally, I found a bunch of these preserve cups. These are about $8 each. So this is like $50 worth of cups right here that are supposed to be reusable and like good for the environment. I also found a whole case of brand new baby food also sealed. This has not been recalled and does not expire till 2022. I also found a bunch of teas and then I found four cases of the sweet vanilla olive oil. Each one of these bottles is about $10, and that's $10 on Amazon. I'm sure Whole Foods charged like $15 for them. So that's almost $250 worth of olive oil. I also found a brand new $22 cheesecake that we've already eaten a third of. It's so good. We also found a brand new marzipan French pastry that cost $24. It's okay, not my favorite, but we've eaten a good amount of that too. If you followed along with the math, you would know that that was over $538 in primarily new sealed cases of product. I got similar comments to this one on my last video and I'd like to address it because I think it is a very valid point and a very valid question, especially if you're new to my channel. And if you are new to my page, welcome. I'm really glad that you're here and I hope you're willing to learn a bit more about the world of dumpster diving. Quick preface, no matter what I say in this video, somebody's gonna get upset. People on TikTok like to get upset with me if they find out I donate items that I find, and then other people get upset with me if they find out that I don't donate everything that I find. But yes, to answer your question, I do donate. I actually donate probably at least 10 times more than I keep for myself. One of the number one rules that I personally abide by, and I believe other dumpster divers do as well, is that we don't take everything that we find. I leave enough behind that if someone is actually dumpster diving for food, there'll be plenty for them. I personally do know most, if not all, the dumpster divers in my area, and I know which dumpsters are frequented by them. And from all the times I've left things behind that have gotten spoiled or covered in new garbage, I know that the amount that I leave behind is usually more than enough, actually too much for the people that are actually diving for food. Most of us dumpster divers really just want to keep things from going to the landfill, and we use TikTok as a way to bring awareness. I don't know a single diver that doesn't donate more than they keep for themselves.